My name is Clifford Mahudi. I am a tribal member of the Zuni Pueblo Indian Tribe in New Mexico, and I have been uh, working at, with the American Indian community for a number of years, both as a professional engineer and also as a um, member of many established orders within the Indian tribe of where I'm from, especially in the spiritual, spiritual groups. And uh, I, have, I have studied quite extensively among different uh, cultures as with the American Indian tribes and also with my academic training in the, uh, what we call the white man's world as, as an engineer. This country has gone to the point now, presently, right now, of creating a lot of different lies, a lot of different cover-ups, and we have not dealt with the truth in so many, at least two centuries that I have studied. What needs to happen in this country is to come out and talk about the truth. And what we have established up to this point with the old system that we have that has to be perhaps be gotten rid of in a way. Uh, we, we have the Constitution of the United States that nobody's obeying. Uh, if you really want to look at the Constitution of the United States, that was adopted from the, the Iroquois Confederacy. And this was not dreamed up by the founding fathers, as they call it. It was, it was the, uh, it was an American Indian system that was already in place when they came here, and it worked. But what has happened is that they've deviated from the rules and regulations that they set forth. And in order to make a spiritual connection, to make things operate and, and working together, there's two things that you have to deal with. First of all is that you have to be truthful in any organization, with any organization, in any application of what the governing bodies, whether it's the, the United States Congress, whether it's the Supreme Court, or even down to the state levels. They have to go back and re-up their thinking on that. And the other thing, too, is that this nation has become so fear-based we are afraid to even talk about our rights. We are afraid to even think about doing something that is for the good of all people and all mankind and all, all the living things on the planet. And in, in order to readjust back to that, you have to go back on the spiritual path. In the beginning, if based upon the history that's written, God and science were one and the same. And we're making a full circle right now, but the thing about the science part of it is that they're using it against all mankind. Every day you see on the news today about all the different secret stuff that's going on, all the cover-ups. So in order to get back into a, a, a readjustment of the world in general here in America, you have to go back and look at the spiritual part of it because people are now waking up. And in order to do that, you have to become educated. Education is not going to college. It's not going to, to a website and get uh, Education is to make contact, to, to teach each other about the basics of what life is supposed to be of all the resources and the environment that is supposed to sustain all mankind. And also to the, the most important thing is that we have to keep hurting Mother Earth because that's our primary source of life. And so this is where a lot of people are looking to the American Indians. As much harm as they did to, to the American Indian tribes in America, both North and South America, is that they kept their systems in place. Sure, there are remnants of what they used to be, but they had to go back and look at those things in a very comprehensive approach and review 
and says, how can we help each other out using the concepts that were in place when the outsiders first came here? And it worked, and why don't we go back and looking at these things? We do not need the technology to do what was happening right now. We don't need all the spy equipment. We don't need all the electronic gadgetry to come back because that is actually a killer in many ways of your concepts of good life. I mean, everybody loves technology. We all love technology, but you have to also parallel it with what is supposed to be good. Technology is a tool. It's not the thing of all things. So that's why we have to look to the American Indian because they kept all the places intact. Sure, we have probably deviated quite a bit because of we lost some of our tribes lost their languages. Some of our tribes lost their rituals, not because that they did it on purpose, because they were relocated or uh, taken away from their places, especially the eastern seaboard nations like the Cherokee, the, the Choctaws, and all, all the other tribes that were herded into Oklahoma. They had those concepts. And they were always in communication with all the brothers and sisters throughout the whole part, uh, all of Canada, Mexico, what is now Mexico, what is now Canada, United States, both coasts. And also the island people, like in, in the Puerto Rico and like in Cuba and all those places where there are indigenous groups still in existence today. So that's what you have to look at. You have to go back and seek the, the information from these people and actually go through a thorough study of that and educate yourself on the concepts. It's a very simple procedure. However, that is not what we are doing or this nation is doing. You, we, have to, we, have to start, we have to start now. Instead of thinking about it or saying, well, maybe we'll get around to it. No, you have to, even one person can make, make the change. Once you start doing that, you make a critical mass, so, so to speak, in a way. You start getting connected with other people and you start w working the, the networking part of it. You have to go out there and not do it for profit, not do it because of ego. You have to do it because that you really believe in what needs to happen. There's a lot of people that are out there that nobody listens to, to them. And the American Indian tribes, especially your leaders, your real leaders, not the ones that put on a bunch of feathers and, and go out there and say, I am the authority. No, the real leaders are out there in the mountains. The real leaders are out there in, in their respective homes and they're still talking like this, and they still have the connection with the spirit. They're the medicine men, they're the, the, the tribal elders, they're the, the story keepers, they're the grandmothers. The other thing too that we have to look at is that in all Indian tribes, the feminine system was, in, was the one that kept things in order. Uh, you, I'm very familiar with the Southwestern Indian tribes and their matriarchal, matrilineal society. We have accepted the, the American way of saying that man is the powerful being. No, the, the, the feminine part of all societies have been the root of everything. Even if you can go clear down to Mother Earth and that's referred to as a, as a uh, female. So all the different practices, in especially in the medicine orders and all the rituals that we go through is all matrilineal based, matriarchal based. And that's what we have to also accept because America has become so divided among the different groups, different races, different uh, groups. And so we have to come back to that. You have to cast that aside and say, what can we do for each other? How are we gonna fix ourselves? So in order to do fix anything else, you have to fix yourself first. And that has to be done with truth. And it has to be done 
with expelling the fear of everything. This country is so logged with so many restrictions and so many laws. And that has a direct effect on the spirit part of the person. And uh, you cannot kill the spirit. You can kill a body, but you cannot kill the spirit. So we have to all come together in that aspect of life and to start helping each other rather than hurting each other. And this is what this country has become. And passing the law, you cannot legislate morality. You cannot make a law and violate it the next morning like this country has been doing. I mean, every day the laws are broken. And so we have to come back to the truth. And, and if we have to, and I think that we want is to get rid of those old people, old guards or old people that has been there dictating to us, we have to bring in a fresh group of thinkers that are compassionate, that have the spirituality, rather than going into politics because they want to become millionaires. And that's where the mistake is being made. I'm not afraid to tell the truth. No. I don't care. Yeah. I don't know anybody, anything, and they don't yeah, know me. Right. I did my time. 